Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Duality 9Xers. Welcome back to another exciting episode right here on Duality 9X. Hey, have you guys ever thought about going to a place or traveling to a, a place, you know, something kind of off the beaten path, something that had a lot of mystery surrounding it, a lot of intrigue, um, maybe some curiosity, and a lot of stories, of course, right? You know, that always makes for a good adventure. Well, one particular individual did, and... He happened to stumble upon perhaps maybe one of the most controversial, most mind-blowing concepts ever. And you guys gotta you gotta you guys gotta check this out. Thanks to Squeeze Lemon. Uh, I want you to see this video and I'd love to hear your guys' comments because I want to know what you guys think. Because obviously we try to do our best to separate fact from fiction. So real or fake, well, that's a decision I guess we'll have to make. So without further ado, let's get it. You might not see me post ever again. My videos weren't, they weren't fake. This is the mysterious case of Andrew Dawson. Andrew's disappearance remains a mystery up until now. It all started on April 9th, 2022. Andrew was filming and he caught on camera what seemed to be a person. Andrew called it a giant. A person, dude. It's a person standing there. No, it's not. Dude, have you seen what I've seen right now? The whole story is incredibly complicated and we can only hope that Andrew is okay. While on a drive in Oahu, Hawaii, a man spotted this giant prehistoric skull and other bone fragments scattered over a cliff. It's easy to tell from a distance that these bones belong to a behemoth, possibly taller than 10 feet. But that isn't even the scariest part. If this does belong to a giant, then what kind of monstrous thing caused it to end up in such a miserable condition? Tree Shaker. <laughs> While hiking early in the morning in a forest reserve in British Columbia, Canada, two men captured something strange rustling the trees ahead of them. Initially mistaking it as a lumberjack at work, they noticed the trees weren't moving naturally, almost as if something was uprooting them with sheer force. Now, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure you need to be a gargantuan to pull off this trick. So, even if we assume it's some sort of prank, it's just impossible for a human which leads us to the only sensible conclusion. There's got to be a giant creature pulling those roots. So, uh, I'm no expert, obviously, and I want to hear your guys' comments. Just a theory, but this is not the first time I'm seeing this video. I've seen this before, guys. Here's my question. The way that tree was moving, originally when I saw this video, I thought, okay, yeah, it could be a giant or this tree is just, I don't know. <laughs> It's just something's really odd about this, but the more uh, the more I see this video, that's that's the same kind of shaking and pattern you know that you normally uh, associate with like a big bulldozer or some kind of heavy machinery trying to uproot those trees and and move them. So <clears throat> the fact that there's no audio of the actual uh, time that this is happening, like you just hear these guys talking in the video. Uh, I'm sure there's some like heavy machinery type of audio associated with this clip. I don't know. Just a theory, guys. I'd love to hear you guys comment. Oh. 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 Andrew Dawson. It's a person standing there. No, it's not. My allergies are out of control, Dude, guys. Have you Sorry. seen what I've seen right now? When a famous TikToker, Andrew Dawson, went on an adventure in Jasper National Park, Canada, and supposedly filmed a giant on the top of a mountain, he accidentally set off a series of odd incidents. Here, you could see a dark, bipedal creature he captured standing on wow. the cliff's edge. He also claimed to have encountered UFOs. At first, his videos were dismissed as a hoax and were stopped by authorities and governments many times. But he persisted in trying to unveil the truth behind these entities. No, seriously, pull over, pull over. Amidst all this chaos, Andrew's sudden passing raised more questions as people tried to understand what actually went down with him. The Yeti. Hmm. the camera if you think yetis aren't real just look at this this giant creature was filmed by a hiker who sensibly hid behind a bunch of trees spooked out of his mind 
The hiker tried to calm his nerves and convince himself that it was just some sort of bear standing on two legs, until the creature plucked out a giant tree from the ground, uprooting it with unimaginable force. Oh, wow. Now, I know we've been seeing videos of Bigfoot-like creatures going around for a while, but we've chalked it up to a prank. So, if we assume it's some human playing dress-up, they've definitely got some supernatural strength. Hmm. Himalayan Yogi. They almost had me there, guys, honestly. Just the fact that he was, you know, moving or uprooting that, that, that big tree. But maybe it wasn't a big tree and maybe it was already uprooted and they were just kind of dragging it. Uh, but that Andrew Dawson clip, you know, that's pretty scary stuff. You guys get a chance to definitely check it out. There's a lot of stuff on, on YouTube about him and about his clips and how he just mysteriously, uh, they say, passed away, vanished. I'm not sure. <laughs> A bunch of mountain climbers trying to scale Mount Karakoram spotted a master yogi sitting cross-legged on the snow, with nothing but a small cloth to keep him decent. Now, I know seeing a yogi isn't that unusual, but it's gotta be freezing out there, especially when you see the mountaineers clad in puffy jackets. To be able to sit out in the snow with nothing on isn't just weird. It's inhuman. But that's not all. The man was chanting the name of the Hindu god Rama. <laughs> which is why many believe he might have been blessed with superhuman strength by the deity itself. Brazilian Giant. Mano, pior que mexe esquisito demais. A Brazilian homeowner noticed an eerie figure casually standing atop the mountain at the back of her house. Initially, she mistook it for some sort of climber. But here's the deal. The mountain we're looking at is practically unclimbable. It's far too steep, and there's a lot of vegetation, so most locals avoid the area. That's not the only odd thing. The humanoid figure has an oddly towering body and weirdly long arms. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that it's some sort of gigantic alien. To make things worse, it looked like it was taking some notes, which makes me think it's keeping an eye on us and observing our every move. Leviathan Skull A worker on a farm in the Midwest wow. discovered an enormous skull with a single huge eye socket. And people said it looked like a cyclops, which led to speculation about the existence of ancient monsters. The skeleton looked sort of human-like, only much bigger and a little stranger. Oh. Next thing you know, bada boom, bada bing, bada bam, you have a cyclops. Ancient Greeks believed bada in the boom, existence bing, of cyclops bang. after seeing such fossils. But modern research showed that a rare genetic defect, Cyclus Italia, can merge eye sockets to form a single eye but results in stillbirth, raising questions about the actual existence of Cyclops. Scientists also believe that ancient elephant skulls with a large central nasal cavity could have been mistaken for Cyclops skulls. The discovery oh. of fossils like these, possibly from ancient elephant skulls, may have influenced ancient beliefs in Cyclops as real creatures. The Mystery of Montana a group of hikers noticed something rustling the leaves ahead, so they whipped out their camera only to record this, a faint white silhouette emerging almost suddenly, like it had been sitting there for a while, camouflaged against the greenery. As they continued to record and wonder about what they'd caught, the mysterious creature suddenly rose up and turned as if it had sensed it was being recorded. While it's easy to chalk it up to a bad prank, just compare the heights. Even for someone in the NBA, reaching that height would be impossible. Hmm. Stalking Ogre A farmer's sheep kept disappearing, so he set up a camera overlooking his pastures. Although it's pretty blurry, he managed to grab something leering at his farm animals and chasing them down the hill. The creature seemed to duck when it approached the woods, almost as if it was too tall for them. And if we look at its angle, it's certainly odd. Dare I say, impossible for a human to appear that big, especially from a distance. As crazy as it sounds, the only possibility is that this is some sort of humanoid giant forced to live in the woods to avoid being spotted, which wow, would explain why it's only hunting out of this farm guy. animals. Athletic Slenderman 
While jogging early in the morning, a man noticed a figure on top of a mountain in Peru, seemingly doing push-ups. Initially, he Whoa. mistook it for another jogger oh. getting in a workout. However, a closer look revealed odd details. The figure was exceptionally tall, over seven feet, with a body that curved unnaturally. Even more striking were its hands and feet, which appeared webbed, yeah. hinting at something far from human. The sight was so terrifying, the man cut off the video and ran home. But I wonder what kind of creature it was. Eye of Webbed the like Devil. like creature doing push-ups? I'm at Spider-Man. Two friends were returning home from a walk when they sensed as if they were being watched. Instinctively looking around, they found two glowing eyes staring back at them from the dark. They belonged to a goat, which stood oddly still and kept staring them down. A bit spooked by its behavior, the duo tried to continue their walk back home when they noticed something even stranger. To be able to look at them from that angle, the goat would need to stand on two hooves, which means it was some sort of creepy bipedal. The duo firmly believed they encountered a skinwalker, possibly stuck mid-transition. Hawkeye. It's like a person's silhouette up in the clouds. This is the moment a construction crew noticed something black and creepy watching them from afar. The crew had been instructed to demolish a part of the mountain to pave a road. But little did they know they'd be disturbing the home of a legendary creature. As it stared back at them, it became clear the creature was somewhat akin to a Bigfoot and it probably lived exactly where they were tunneling through. If we think about it, it wouldn't be too far-fetched for a Bigfoot-like creature to live in the mountains. And besides, who knows oh, what God. else lurks in our cliffs. That, that's ominous, guys. Look at that. I mean, you're, you're, you're tasked with the responsibility of building a road, a connection to, to this area where you see this figure. Clearly, it's a figure. I, I don't know what else it could be. Um, and it looks like it's perched on on the cliff. Like, I'm just trying to figure out how big this is in perspective. But I mean, it it looks pretty pretty big to me. Uh, what do you guys think? Sasquatch watch. It's an elusive creature. Bigfoot stories often get eye rolls, with most dismissing them as just myths. But a recent event has people talking and rethinking. Captured by train passengers in southwest Colorado, a video shows a huge figure moving with such ease, it looked like it was walking right over the bushes. An elusive creature. Plus, to be seen clearly from that angle, the creature would have to be at least 8 to 10 feet tall. Could there actually be something to the Bigfoot legend? Have we really been living among these behemoths all this time? That's pretty interesting. The Giants of Lovelock. Back in 1911, miners in Lovelock, Nevada discovered over 40 human skeletons in a cave, some of which were unusually large, seven to eight feet tall, with red hair, suggesting a different group from Native Americans in the area and skeletons that measure between seven and eight feet in height. Is that the skeletons were often found with red hair. The skulls were preserved until about 10 years ago, when they were taken out to be ceremonially buried. The Paiute people have a historical account of battling red-haired giants called Sai Duka'a, which probably led to the giant's demise in the Lovelock Cave, which explains the extreme burning found at the cave entrance. Reports of giant bones and artifacts from other areas in Nevada also supported the Paiute story and seemed to prove the existence of giants in the region. Giant Dogman A hiker thought he was recording a bear until he got home and reviewed the footage. The black creature had a massive body, but its snout was oddly shaped and it looked like it had humanoid hands. And just as the hiker continued to record, he captured the creature turning to look at him, revealing a humanish face. Oh, Many believe this that. is an alleged sighting of the Dogman, a seven-foot-tall bipedal creature with half a dog's body and half a man's. Well, it certainly lives up to its appearance, doesn't it? The Dogman? Behind Bars. Go, 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 go. A couple out on an exploration trip decided to check out this cave nestled among rocky hills. 
When they went in, they discovered it was an abandoned mine shaft with rails running down, but it was sealed off by metal bars. So naturally, they ventured in. Looking around, they found nothing at first, but then suddenly they spotted a pair of eyes glowing in the dark. And the guy, sensing the danger, quickly exited the cave as if he didn't want to encounter whatever lurked inside. The bright, glowy eyes have remained a mystery, although many suggested it might have been a skinwalker. Whoa. Go, 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 go. The Last Trace. This proof of Yeti's existence not only left the netizens freaked out, but also made global headlines. An expedition team taking a trip to the Himalayas in India in 2019 cited the mysterious footprints of the mythical beast, Yeti. The footprints of the beast measured to be around 2.6 feet, but with no solid proof of their existence. No one knows if these prints are real or not. Here's another group who have found a giant footprint that allegedly belongs to a Yeti. This foot was also said to have dug out of the Himalayas. A lot of people, including the media, had arrived to see the spectacle themselves. Although many people didn't believe the footprint was real, it sure stirred up some controversy. Marble Mountain Giants in 2001, a group on a trip to Marble Mountain, USA, had an encounter that remains a mystery to this day. See, he's standing taller. Oh, uh -oh. I get back we, to camp. We see something moving on the hill above. While filming, they accidentally captured footage of a massive human-like creature standing on a hill. Wow. At first glance, you might think they have a normal appearance. But the fact it was visible from such a distance suggests yeah. it must have been of huge size. Looking at Guys, there's lots of fascinating stuff about Marble Mountain. You guys just got to Google Marble Mountain. And there's a lot of sightings of very strange things. Um, but yeah, like, look, from a distance, like, you should only see, like, little trees and stuff like that. that that's a pretty, pretty big thing thing whatever it is it's a figure it's an entity it's something an animal a gigantopithecus who knows but tell me what do you guys think i don't see it moving now the tree is it's to the right of them they also discovered claw marks and a makeshift shelter made from branches and foliage possibly a home of this elusive entity over the years many people have given their opinions some argue it was merely a human figure captured from a specific angle, while others, particularly enthusiasts, believe the footage to be authentic evidence of giants coexisting with us. He's between the two trees right now. Yeah. But the way they the walk and moving, it does look very human-like. Horned monster. Deep in the Atacama Desert, a couple of explorers captured a horned creature between a narrow cliffside. Although it oh. looks like a mountain goat, the creature's size was far too big. Its front legs were oddly long, prompting many to believe it wasn't even an animal, just a creature that looked like it. The sighting has ignited rumors about the reappearance of Baphomet, the deity. Yet there are also a few who believe this is the literal devil in disguise, watching explorers and hoping to manipulate them against each other. Footloose a resident in Albany was coming back after taking out the trash when he noticed a weird set of footprints ahead of him. It's pretty clear these footprints belong to some giant. Initially, he believed it was just a bear's, but then he realized there wasn't an animal in sight, and the footprints hadn't been there just a few moments ago. It was almost as if some creature was waiting for the coast to be clear to make a run for it. Once he uploaded it, many people were sure it belonged to some sort of yeti. Well. What do you think? Show of Colossus. A group of Mexican citizens captured a giant creature standing on top of the mountain in front. Now, I Whoa. know it's easy to play it off as a hiker exploring the area, but the mountain you're seeing is at least several thousand feet tall, which means a human wow. wouldn't even be visible at the top, let alone this big. As the citizens stared ahead, the giant creature standing straight, as if it was keeping an eye on them. Now that's scary, right? But wait till you notice this. The mountain looks nowhere near climbable. So how did this creature get up there? Your guess is as good as mine. Peruvian Titans 
These two giants were filmed by an anonymous man on top of a mountain in Peru. The man claimed the mountain was too high for humans to conquer, so he was baffled by how these figures managed to make it up there. Many believe these giants are capable of casually climbing mountains like this, and some even think the creatures may be living up there. As the man continued to film, it looked like these two were meeting up for some sort of discussion, and then one of the giants bowed down to the other, as if it was ready to follow its lead. Stone Cold. Hmm. This is the sight that greeted a hiker as he was trying to record his surroundings. Initially, he couldn't really tell what it was until he zoomed in. The Look creature almost looked like it was carved out of rock, but believe me, it's not that. The hiker believes it's some sort of Nephilim, resting before its final wake to destroy the world. That would explain why, despite looking like a giant creature, it's oddly still. The sight spooked the hiker so much, he stopped recording. But he claims that on the trip back, the creature was no longer there. No way. The Yeti. I would have liked to see that A motion that detecting picture. trail cam in Fort Wilkins, Michigan, captured a gigantic creature passing through the trees. Although it happened for a short few minutes, the camera managed to track its movement until it eventually blended in with the trees. Many believe this is proof that the creature is Bigfoot, since they are believed to mysteriously camouflage just when they need it. Well, what do you think? Dark Avenger. Oh. There's a troll in the dungeon! A spelunker found an old well in the bottom of a cave and excitedly came close, only to hear low growling and see something born from the shadows. A massive creature with a bent body appeared out of the depths, eerily glancing at its side. Initially, the spelunker remained unnoticed, until suddenly it caught a whiff of the man and lunged at him. Imagine this the video cuts off, at you. Wow. but the spelunker survived and swore he'd really escaped a troll. It almost starts hopping. Yeah. A message of hope. A woman was trying to record a video of the Corrego de Boi River in Brazil from her backyard when she accidentally captured this, an entity somewhere in the middle of the rolling hills, calmly glowing under the sun. At first, she thought it was a mistake, perhaps the angle or something wrong with her camera. But then she realized the figure was really there, and miraculously the was being filmed. Fantastic when she four. uploaded the video online, many were quick to comment that it could be a guardian angel sent down to Earth to keep an eye. Others believe it could be a magical entity that lives in the area. Either way, I bet this changed her life. Hmm. That's interesting. Shadow Lurker. A woman was being interviewed on live TV when something odd walked behind her. At first, it almost went unnoticed, but its appearance was broadcast to the entire nation, and one eagle-eyed observer noticed this and uploaded the footage online. Here's a slower playback. See how it blends against the background? The camouflage is so strong, it's almost like it's slightly transparent, which is why many believe this could be an elusive giant finally waking up from a deep slumber and was accidentally caught on the broadcast. Doorway to Hell. Look, look. <gasps> Whoa! Back in 2016, an unusual video emerged from Giant's Causeway, UK, that opened up a round of investigations. While exploring the natural reserve, a visitor unintentionally recorded a massive rock opening and closing all by itself. This incident led people to speculate that it might be a prehistoric giant's den into the rocks that could be going into hibernation for the winter. So to find out the truth behind this clip, an investigation was started where every stone on the wall was examined but no proof of either a giant or the rock wall opening was discovered. Even though there's been no confirmation of a giant's existence, the incident still attracts a bunch of visitors to the area every day. Look, look. <gasps> That's unbelievable. Furry Bipedal. 
A couple of deer hunters in Utah were on their way to work when they noticed a bipedal figure walking from a distance. They recorded the figure, thinking it might be another hunter out in all black attire, and didn't give it much thought. It was only later when they checked the footage, they found that the figure in the video was far more huge and wider than a normal human being. Not finding any sound explanation, they were sure it was a Sasquatch out and about. Although there's been no word of confirmation about it, the guys were still glad they recorded the clip. The Abominable Snowman This clip was recorded by a group of explorers in the middle of the Pyrenees Mountains of Spain. The group was sure it was either a Yeti, a Bigfoot, or some giant snowman. Here's the short clip that showed a huge, ghostly white creature turning its head. The staff at the resort investigated the sighting, but found nothing. But the video has sparked speculations among cryptozoologists and viewers about its authenticity, with some considering it a possible evidence, while others still dismiss it. Why do all the videos, you know, when, when you capture something of this magnitude, why does it always have to be very poor quality, low grainy type kind of video. And why does it have to be short clips? Why can't somebody be recording for like minutes or, you know, for longer periods of time? I mean, obviously the cell phones today, the mobile phones are quite capable of doing that and can shoot in like resolution as high as 4K. So again, I know these are older videos, but I mean, there's got to be newer videos and, and people uploading like, stuff that has like better quality footage so as a hoax smoke chaser this guy was out to take a look around the forest fire near his house when his camera accidentally caught a bizarre giant creature on the run that tall dark figure seemed to be running away from something probably the fire could it be a Sasquatch? The guy remained clueless at first as he showed the forest on fire. But when he checked the footage later, he was shocked. I watched this Instagram story and I'm like, oh. The clip earned a lot of attention online. As people tried to put a name on it, some said it was indeed a Sasquatch, while skeptics thought it was just a tall guy running away from the fire. If you have any idea about what it could mm. be, let me know in the comments. What do you guys Ghost think? of the past. A trail camera captured a strange sight somewhere in a dense forest. Oh, An unnaturally tall humanoid figure appeared from behind a tree and then disappeared behind another. It's like the figure was walking through different dimensions right on camera. Its features were difficult to make out due to the low video quality, but its human-like shape and movement were very much visible. The forest where it was sighted was rumored to be haunted by the spirit of a hunter who once lived in the area. So, netizens speculated it could be the spirit of the hunter revisiting the territory, or it could be something even more unsettling. Uh, I, I'm, I, there's another video that I have that I actually featured in one of my earlier videos, and somebody was saying something along the lines like i guess a farmer owned that piece of land and the farmer was saying that he's been noticing seeing these apparitions or these kind of ghostly like figures appear in like confederate um like old uh military type of gear like uniforms right like from the confederate period from like you know long time back so i'm just thinking could it could it possibly be that? I mean, I guess the area where this farmer's land was situated on um, was a battle zone, right? So uh, during the Civil War. So interesting. You never know. Just another take. Loading behemoth. Mountains and Loading caves aren't the only oh. places giants like to reside. Sometimes they make appearances at such unusual places that it forces the viewers to whip out their cameras and take a shot. Have a look at this massive humanoid captured on camera by an airline passenger above the clouds at about 30,000 feet altitude, where he no. spotted the creature just walking on the clouds wow. with ease. At first, people thought it was a computer generation, but when experts analyzed the photo, it was proven to be unedited which left everyone wow. to wonder what that thing could be in the clouds. And it wasn't even an isolated event. Here's another clip that captured a giant bipedal creature that seemed to be walking in the sky. It's like that behemoth of a figure was walking secretly in the shadows and suddenly got exposed. Hmm. Mexican Bigfoot. 
A strange incident occurred on a Mexican mountain when a massive figure suddenly appeared behind a residential building, frightening the entire town. The incident caused panic among the residents, who ran out of their homes screaming in fear, believing their town was under attack. Some online users speculated that it might be a return of ancient giants, while others oh. entertained the idea of an extraterrestrial being, considering Mexico's or history of alien encounters. However, the true identity witch. of the figure remained unknown. Despite the lack of answers, the event certainly caused a lot of fear among the locals. <laughs> Prehistoric Titan The existence of giants has long been a topic of debate. With little to no proof and an overflowing pile of blurry footage, it has been a mystery. But back in 2017, excavators working in a cave in Thailand unearthed a nearly intact giant skeleton that left the skeptics speechless. The skeleton was believed to belong to a group of ancient giants that used to live in the region. Now, the cave is open for the public to visit and witness the historic inhabitants of the region. Heart of Stone. I wonder how tall the specimen was. They never mentioned anything about that. This guy exploring the Cyclops cave in Wales uncovered the great secrets of Cape Greco. Inside of the cave, strewn with statues, there was one that particularly caught his attention because of its unique features. The sculpture had a single eye on its head, which seemed quite odd. The artifacts discovered in the cave date back to a very ancient period, around 6000 to 5500 BC, which means extremely old. This discovery raised an interesting question. What could have possibly inspired the creation of a Cyclops figure during such an early period in history? <laughs> Nepalese Climber <laughs> You might be thinking, why are all these people standing like this? Are they looking for something? Well, they kind of are. When rumors about the presence of a Yeti spread out, these people got together to take a closer look at the creature. And they claimed to have found the creature climbing the hill among the trees. Some people even tried to get near them, but the giant just disappeared. Here's another oh. clip that claimed to have captured the renowned giant. An adventurer exploring this snowy wilderness in Russia encountered the creature. He believed it was the Russian Yeti, a legendary creature rumored to roam these remote lands. And this one didn't seem happy about being filmed. It picked up the guy's travel bag, knocked it around before throwing it away, but ended up down the hill in its anger. Wow. <laughs> Wow! Cliffhanger A group of explorers were out in the Himalayan mountains when they noticed a giant dark figure walking in the snow-ridden path. It seemed to be walking hunched over, like it was hiding from something, maybe from the explorers, who still captured it. Have a look at the still shot of the creature. It doesn't look human, and gorillas don't live in that region. So, could this really be a proof of a giant or a Bigfoot's existence? Promise of Doom Exploring unfamiliar territories can reveal many surprises. So, this group of adventurers entered a cave to uncover the potential creatures hidden in the shadows. And to their surprise, they noticed a set of shining eyes peering back at them. They tried to figure out it was a wolf, a mountain His lion, or a bear. Weird, like... Even with their curiosity up, they didn't go ahead and decided yeah. to retreat, capturing only footage of the eerie encounter. Carved Tragedy Earlier this year, Mexican authorities uncovered a shocking find near the Guatemalan border, a cave filled with approximately 150 skulls. Initially, specialists suspected it might be linked to a crime scene. However, further investigation unveiled a much more unsettling and sinister reality. 
The skulls, which are thousands of years old, turned out to be the result of an ancient ritualistic sacrifice dating back to roughly 900 to 1200 AD. Archaeologists speculate that they were once exhibited, possibly as trophies from an ancient ceremony. While such rituals were not uncommon in ancient societies, the level of preservation of this discovery was truly mm. disturbing. Gravity Defier While hiking along a logging road near a lake in Mission, British Columbia, a couple capturing the stunning scenery noticed a strange movement on top of a hill. Zooming the camera in, they recorded the footage of a hairy, ape-like figure walking and occasionally swinging its arms. The couple thought they had come across a giant being known to live on the mountains. This raises the question, was it a Sasquatch, a person, or another unidentified entity? Let me know your thoughts about this one. Depth Seeker A tourist exploring Arizona's Red Rocks heard a weird, raspy sound coming close to the rocks. He stepped closer to detect the source and found it was coming from a narrow crevice in the range. Now, I know it's easy to assume there's some sort of animal hiding in there. Yeah, this is, but this the is what I'm talking about, guys, like going off the beaten path. You know, if you've ever gone on a long vacation and then you, you just kind of pull over to the side of the road and you're looking at the mountains and you're like, I wonder, I wonder what's there, right? And then you slowly start walking towards the edge of the road and you walk a little farther, a little bit more, a little bit more. And next thing you know, you're like far away from your vehicle. And now the question is, do you turn back or do you continue onwards? Ha, ah, we see when you see these kind of things, caves and most often the kids just leave them alone, right? I don't know if you want to if you want to go disturb anything that could potentially be living there. This was way too small for that and most animals would react defensively. So we know this isn't the case here. And then the tourist found this. Yep, wow, that, just that two like creepy bear. eyes staring back at him from the abyss. The or tourist was sure line. he'd spotted some sort of evil spirit in the rocks, probably cursed to spend the rest of its life there. Holy Grail. like a baptism going on or something. If this doesn't ring alarm bells in your head, then you've got pretty bad survival skills. This rather ominous looking group was captured performing some sort of ritual in the middle of nowhere in Southern Africa. Cloaked in white and shrouded in mystery, the figures had gathered around what looked like a young person, presumably a sacrifice of some sort. Once the video made it online, many believed it was a satanic cult trying to summon the devil. Well, that's unsettling, don't oh. you think? A Leaf of Faith The mountain could be hiding any kind of secrets, but the only ones we're interested in are the Bigfoot ones. Here's another clip of the infamous mythical mountain dwellers captured climbing the Rocky Mountains in North America. A couple captured the unbelievable sight on their trip to the region. This giant, black, furry creature was seen standing up on the hills. The sight was creepy as it just stared unmoving. The couple believed that there were more than one of them, as they saw another one swiftly climbing to the top of the wow. hills. The enthusiasts believe it to be one of the most credible clips of the creature's existence. Oh. Now, it's time for today's open discussion. This picture of a giant in a cave breaking the internet was captured when chaos broke out in Mexico, as some locals claim they saw a giant living in a mountain cave. Even a video was posted online showing the human-like figure sitting by the cave entrance. It looked more sinister than a giant, all dark and unfazed. Many people speculated what it could be, with some thinking it was a real giant living there. However, others dismissed it as a fake because the video was blurry. Also, why are such videos always hard to see clearly? Since there wasn't enough good evidence, this sighting just added to the mystery of the cave giants. Thank you very much for watching the video. I don't know about you guys, but look, 
the, the biggest challenge that we have doing reaction videos is reacting to videos that are very poor quality, grainy, short clips. Um, some 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 of the poor, some of the quality is so bad that it 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 predates like even VHS. Like hey, we we used to watch movies on VHS cassettes, VHS tapes. Okay, yeah. I mean now that just kind of dates me as to how old I am, but I remember watching videos and they were pretty clear. They're pretty good. It's when you started recording things on VHS cassettes, sometimes the quality wasn't as great. But some of the video that we see is even worse than that. And this is being shot off people's mobile phones. Huh, maybe you got to get a new mobile phone. I don't know. Anyhow, guys, that's all the time that we have. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this content. I want to hear your guys' feedback. I want to hear your guys' comments. Tell me what you think. Did we find... Did these people find Nephilims? Did they find real giants? Did they find, you know, the Yeti, Sasquatch, Bigfoot? I mean, it has so many names. Uh, there was a scientific name as well, too, called the uh, Gigantopithecus that used to roam the forest, you know, during, during like, I don't know, the Ice Age and prior to that. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear your guys' feedback. Uh, yeah. Anyways. It's all the time uh, that we have, as I mentioned. Um, if you guys are new to this space, I want you to please, please, please smash the like and subscribe. Uh, and you know what? Until our next adventure. And in the meantime and in between time, that's it, guys. Another one in the books. I look forward to catching you guys on the next one. Take care.